some of these financial departments, um, how are they increasing cash flow or saving more? Is there specific areas of the business that, you know, there's a trend, like the, there are a lot of them are cutting this or does it just depend on the industry they're in? Well, I think two things. I think number one, technological advances in um, AR and AP systems. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of classically, the manufacturing of B2B space, um, they lean heavily on legacy technology. <laughs> mm -hmm. And any financial executive that's listening to this will tell you like most B2B organizations are, are leaning heavily on old technology that has been heavily customized and is kind of clunky and may not have the functionality that they need uh, to kind of go into this next era of a distributed workforce, uh, digitized AR and AP functionalities. Um, and so uh, I think that's the headwind right now for a lot of organizations is um, this, all of this happened overnight and, and organizations are having to reinvest in their technology. So we're seeing the smart organizations begin to look at um, the total investment that they need to make, as well as the bridge that will get them to the place where they'll be in new technology that's more flexible, that will have more features and capabilities. So uh, yeah. we're doing a lot of project work right now around um, either custom development or modular work that can get them, can kind of bide their time until they're able to mm -hmm. invest the time to transition into more robust uh, systems for, for the finance, the AR and AP side. Mm -hmm.